Alright, so for today, you guys, I have a very special deck that I want to show you guys. It is my Red Eyes Black Dragon deck with the newly released uh, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon um, in the extra deck. So, with that being said, we're going to kind of get to things right away here. So, obviously, it's Red Eyes Black Dragon, so you're going to play three copies of the uh, Vanilla Red Eyes B Dragon. He's going to be one of your main boss monsters, um, pretty simple, uh, he's going to be incorporated with a lot of fusion cards in your extra deck, and yeah, he's just a really classic card. Then next we got three copies of Dark Magician, um, so Dark Magician is also going to be used for a lot of the fusion cards in your extra deck, um, it's a very classic card. Um, and it's pretty strong as well, 2500 attack, uh, 2100 defense. Then moving on, we're playing two copies of Buster Blader. Um, the reason why we're playing two of Buster Blader is because we are using um, Dark Paladin in the extra deck. So you need him and Dark Magician to make the fusion. And also he gains 500 attack for each uh, dragon monster. Uh, your opponent controls or is in their graveyard so if you're going up against someone else who's also playing red eyes or blue eyes white dragon um, he's gonna get a really high attack boost from that and then we're also playing three copies of Amazonas swordswoman uh, the reason we're playing her uh, is for two, two main reasons one she's a warrior so she'll help out with uh, the fusions in your extra deck um, mainly the Dark Cavalry card that we're using. Um, you need Dark Magician and you need a Warrior Monster to make it, so that's why we have her in here. And then also she has a really good special effect. Um, it says, uh, your opponent takes all battle damage that you would have taken uh, from the, a battle involving this card. So if your opponent attacks this monster with like a blue eyes, normally you would take 1500 points of damage because that's the difference in their attack points but because of her effect your opponent's going to take that damage and not you so it's a good way to kind of have the have a built-in shield against losing life points and then also uh it's only four stars so it's a it's your one of your main normal summons that you can do on your turn then we're also playing three copies of king of the swamp and the reason why we play three of him is because you can substitute him for any other fusion material um, and then you can also discard him to the graveyard to add uh, polymerization from your deck to your hand so obviously you can't make a fusion monster most of the time unless you have polymerization so um, by having three copies of him and three copies of polymerization in your deck you're gonna more than likely see that card um, when you're starting out. Then we play three copies of the Black Stone of Legend. Uh, the reason why we play three copies of this is because you can tribute him off to special summon um, one level 7 or lower red eyes monster from your deck. So you're going to use this to special summon uh, your vanilla red eyes um, if you haven't already drawn him into your hand. And then also um, if this card is in the graveyard, you can target one level 7 or lower Red Eyes monster in your graveyard and shuffle it back into the deck. And if you do, you can add this card back to your hand. So, once you play him, tribute him off to uh, special summon the Red Eyes uh, to the field and say you do a fusion with Red Eyes and then he goes to the graveyard and this card gets destroyed somehow. You can use his graveyard effect then to bring uh, the black stone card back to your hand and then send the red eyes back to your deck to make another fusion later on. So it's just a way to cycle through uh, your cards and recur them back so you can keep making plays. Then we're playing two copies of Magician's Rod. The reason why we play this is because um, we're also playing uh, Dark Magic Circle. Um, because we're also playing Dark Magician, so um, with Magician's Rod, when he's normal summoned, you can search 
any uh, spell or trap card that has Dark Magician listed in it. Um, so that's how you can easily uh, search for the Dark Magic Circle. And then um, once you have Dark Magic Circle on the field uh, and you special summon your Dark Magician, you can banish one of your opponent's cards. Um, it can be a monster, it can be a spell, it can be a trap, doesn't matter. So it's a good way to get, uh, it's a good way to remove some cards from their field. And then for some draw power, we're playing two copies of Danger Mothman. Well, you would normal summon him to make um, some of your uh, rank 4 Xyz plays, which we have in our extra deck. But also his special ability says you can reveal him from your hand. And then your opponent randomly chooses one card uh, from your hand to discard. And if they uh, did not choose Danger Mothman, you can special summon him to the field. Um, and draw one card and then if he is discarded you can uh well if he is discarded both players will draw one card it's just a good way to help get through your deck faster um and hopefully your opponent doesn't pick him off from your hand and then lastly for our main deck monsters we're playing two copies of effect Baylor. um and the reason why we play two copies of her is because um it's a good way to block out your opponent's monsters effects so during your opponent's main phase, you can just send uh, Effect Veiler from your hand to the graveyard and target one Effect Monster your opponent controls to negate its effects for uh, the rest of the turn. So it's just a good way to kind of block out plays that they want to make. And then we move on to Spells and Traps here, playing three copies of Polymerization. So obviously, like I said before, you can't make your fusions without this card. Um, there's a lot of other cards in this deck that help you search for this and, and get it into your hand so you can use it right away. So, but the, by having three copies, you're going to more than likely see it um, on your first hand. We're playing one copy of Red Eyes Fusion. Um, so with this card, what you have to do is you have to send a Red Eyes monster uh, from your deck to the graveyard, and then you can you can fusion summon one fusion monster that has red eyes listed in its title from your extra deck using uh, monsters from your hand or deck or field as the materials. And then um, if you do, the name becomes Red Eyes Black Dragon. But the bad part about this is you cannot uh, normal or special summon any other monster for the rest of the turn. Um, but you can set a monster face down in face down defense position. Um, so basically the Red Eyes Fusion card is in here to help us uh, play our Red Eyes Slash Dragon that we have in the extra deck. And then we're playing one Fusion Reserve and one Fusion Recovery. So Fusion Recovery, you can add a Polymerization and one Fusion Material uh, that you used from your graveyard back to your hands, so it's a good way to recur those three palm. It's a good way to recur one of those three palmerizations that you sent uh, to the graveyard earlier to make a previous fusion, and then uh, fusion reserve. You just reveal a fusion monster in your extra deck, and you can add one of the materials listed on it from your deck to your hand, um, and then you can add a palmerization from your graveyard to your hand. So. It's a good way to not only thin your deck out to, by pulling a monster um, that's part of a fusion, but you can also get one of those polymerizations back as well. So by having these two cards and then the three polymerizations, that's five, that's five different times you can use that card to make five different fusion monsters. We play one Raigeki to destroy all monsters on your opponent's field. Two copies of Power of the Guardians, so this is an equipped card. Um, that we would normally put on our uh, Red Eyes Slash Dragon. And the reason why we'd put it on him is because every time an attack is declared involving the equipped monster, you put a spell counter on this card. And for each spell counter, the mon equipped monster gains 500 attack and defense. And then if the equipped monster would ever be destroyed by battle or card effect, um, you can remove a spell counter on the field. Uh, instead so you would just take a spell counter off of this to protect your monster from being destroyed then we play one copy of monster reborn 
one copy of Upstart Goblin and one copy of Dark Factory of More Production. So Monster Reborn, plain and simple, you know what it does. Upstart Goblin, draw one card, give your opponent a thousand life points. And then Dark Factory of More Production, we play this. Uh, it's a permanent trap that says you can send one monster from your hand to the hand or field to the graveyard to draw one card. So it's just uh, another way to help thin through your deck. So if you want to send like your uh, Blackstone of Legend to the graveyard, draw a card, then activate its graveyard effect to add it back to your hand, and then also uh, special summon a Red Eyes from your deck. You can make that combo play. Uh, Otherwise, if you just want to send like a Palmerization and then bring it back with Fusion Recovery to draw a card, you can do that as well. Let me play two copies of Dark Factory of Mass Production. Uh, the reason why we play this is because you can target two normal monsters that are in your graveyard and add them back to your hand. So this card will help you bring back your Dark Magician and your Red Eyes Black Dragon so you can keep making Fusion plays with them. Let me also play two copies of Dark Magical Circle. So like I talked about earlier, um, when we had Magician's Rod, um, when this card's on the field and then you special summon Dark Magician, you can banish one of your opponent's cards. So it's just a good way to help clear their board. Um, we play two copies of the Claw of Hermos. Uh, reason why we play him is because he's kind of like a Palmerization in himself. Um, and we have uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon Sword in our extra deck. And in order to make that card, you need uh, the Claw of Hermos and also a Dragon type monster. So he goes, he works with uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon to help make that. Then we play two copies of Twin Twisters. Um, this card is strictly in here for back row removal. So. You discard a card and then you can target up to two spell or traps on the field and destroy them. So it's a very good quick play spell. You can send a Black Stone of Legend, send a Red Eyes, send a Dark Magician, a Polymerization, whatever you want to get rid of, and destroy two of your opponent's spells or traps. Uh, then we play two copies of Summoner's Art. So this card just says you can add one level five or higher normal monster from your deck to your hand. Um, so we'd use this to add either Red Eyes or Dark Magician. Um, so if you ever open up your hand and you don't have them uh, to start the game, uh, but you have this card, you can easily search them out and start making your fusions. And then we play three copies of Ancient Rules. And the reason why we play three copies of Ancient Rules is to prevent us from ever uh, bricking with uh, Dark Magician or Red Eyes in our hand. Because um, Ancient Rules lets you special summon one level 5 or higher normal monster from your hand. So you never have to worry if you don't have Palmerization but you have Red Eyes or Dark Magician sitting in your hand. You And, and you also have Ancient Rules. You can just use this and then get them on the field. And they're not going to take up space sitting, sitting in your hand. And then the last three cards are playing one Mirror Force and two copies of Magic Cylinder. So, Mirror Force, you know what it does, your opponent attacks you, you can flip this up, destroy all their attack position monsters. And Magic Cylinder is great because if your opponent attacks you, you can negate the attack. And then also, you can inflict damage to their life points equal to that attacking monster's attack. So, it's a good way to help burn out their life points really fast. Um, especially in today's game, because a lot of people make really big boards, really big combos, and they get these strong monsters out on the field. So. By having Magic Cylinder, you can just flip this face up and they'll end up killing themselves. Alright, and with that we will move on to the extra deck here. So for the extra deck, we are playing three copies of Red Eyes Slash Dragon, like I mentioned earlier. Um, he's used in combination with um, the Power of the Guardians Equip card. So with Red Eyes Slash Dragon, um, you can send one equip, equip card you control to the graveyard to negate the activation and destroy um, any kind of uh, card or effect that's activated um, that would target this card or any other card on your field. So by having Power of Guardians equipped to him with several counters, you can just remove one of those counters 
to activate his effect and destroy uh, one of your opponent's cards or negate your opponent's card effects. Then we play two copies of Red Eyes Black Dragon Sword and one copy of First of the Dragons. So, First of the Dragons is cool because it's uh, you can fuse uh, two normal monsters to make him, and he cannot be uh, destroyed by battle except with uh, a normal monster, and he's also unaffected by other monster effects. So, unless your opponent has like a blue eyes white dragon, uh, they're not going to be able to really get over him because he's a 2700 attack, uh, so he's strong. Um, and he can't, like I said, he can't be destroyed by battle, and card effects can't be used on him. Um, Red Eyes Black Dragon Sword is in here. Uh, target one other face up monster on the field, um, and you can equip this card to them, and they'll gain a thousand attack points plus um, an additional 500 attack points for each dragon monster uh, on the field or in the graveyard so it's a good way to make your other cards like red eyes slash dragon even stronger or your dragoon of, uh, your red eyes dark dragoon as well then we play two copies of dark paladin so like i said you need a uh, buster blader and dark magician to make him and what's cool about him is you can discard a card to uh negate one spell card to negate the activation of a spell card and then um, he also gains 500 attack for each dragon type monster uh, on the field or in either player's graveyard so he's gonna get really strong because the majority of our deck well I should say at least half our deck is dragons so you have your red eyes you have your black stone of legends um, and then you have a lot of dragon fusion monsters as well so if any of them get sent to the graveyard, he's going to end up being very, very strong. Then we play Dark Cavalry, which is a Dark Magician and a Warrior monster. Um, he gains 100 attack for each spell or trap on the field um, and in the graveyard. And if he attacks a defense position monster, he'll inflict piercing damage. So basically what that means is um, your opponent will lose life points equal to the difference between his attack and their monster's defense. And then when a card effect, card or effect is activated that targets um, a card on the field, you can just discard one card from your hand to negate that activation and destroy it. So another great way to uh, stop your opponent. And then the main boss monster of the deck is Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Uh, so you need a Dark Magician plus a Red Eyes Black Dragon or a Dragon Effect monster to make him. This card is absolutely insane. <laughs> it is the most broken card that has ever been made, and I absolutely love it. It looks super cool. Um, it says that it cannot be destroyed by card effects. Neither player can target this card with card effects. During your main phase, you can destroy one monster your opponent controls, and if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack. Um, you can use this effect a number of times per turn up to the number of normal monsters used as fusion material for this card so basically if you use dark magician and red eyes black dragon you can destroy up to two monsters your opponent controls and then inflict damage to their life points equal to both of those attacks so if you already used like both your magic cylinders and then you got red eyes dark dragoon on your field and you destroy two more of their monsters with his effect, you're more than likely going to wipe out the rest of their life points without even ever having to attack them with any of your monsters. And then lastly it says once per turn when a card effect is activated, you can discard one card to negate the activation and if you do destroy that card and Red Eyes Dark Dragoon will gain a thousand attack points. So that instantly bumps them up from 3,000 to 4,000 and that attack boost can happen every single turn and it never goes away. So between <laughs> between Red Eyes Dark Dragoon just increasing his own attack and some of your equipped cards that you have, he will get very, very strong. 
then we play one Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon. Uh, he's a rank 4, so that works good with your Amazon Swordswoman and your Danger Mothman. Um, you can detach one material from him and target one face up monster your opponent controls. Uh, you, you would cut the attack points of that opponent's monster in half and add it to his attack points. So it's just a good, strong monster that you can get out on your field. Um, let me play one copy of Abyss Dweller, one copy of Tornado Dragon, and one copy of number 101 Silent Honor Arc. And then, uh, last but not least, I do, um, technically that's only 14 cards in the extra deck. Um, I was, I am hoping to add one more, uh, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon to my extra deck, so... We do have one more sleeve left, but I have not gotten the second copy yet, so this is kind of like a proxy for now. Um, but with that, that's the uh, that's the profile. I hope you guys liked it. I'm very excited to be able to use this deck eventually, hopefully, uh, once the whole virus thing situation clears up. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave a like and subscribe, and there'll be uh, more videos to come in the future.